And so when I wake up January, even though I did go live on my birthday, I actually went live six o'clock in the morning, got up, went live. Um, hey, you got that kind of I was rolling around to the other side of the bed. Um, but go ahead. I think for me, it's just like I said, my faith helped a lot. But there's a point, if I had to admit, that I was not happy. I was like, look, I don't understand this at all. Because I lost people in the past. But my mama? Not my mama. That's what I thought of first the day she passed. I completely forgot it was my birthday. Didn't even think about it was my birthday until my father mentioned it. That thought did So you lost happen. your mother before your father. Yeah, my father. And my, yeah, my Was father your father mother, dealing yeah. with um, Alzheimer's at that time? He was in the start stage. Okay. Um Oof. and so for me it was just it's kind of is what it, that's why I make such a big deal about my birthday. Because I know, well, one, we were so poor growing up, we really didn't have birthdays. But um, I, I just, I, I, I just, that's why I do it. I don't just do it because, well, it's my birthday, ha, ha, no. Especially this one, because it was 20 years and like for the first fifth no the first 18 years i had the same dream january the early january fourth morning i dreamed that my aunt called me told me that my mother passed because that's what actually happened she called me she told me my, i would have the same dream over and over every single year i would have that same dream then about three years ago i stopped having it and that's when it clicked. I still have to keep going on. Yeah, those two days are going to be linked. Mother's Day is hard. Christmas Day is hard. My niece's and nephew's birthday is hard because she didn't get to see. You know, my father got to see, you know, my niece and nephew be born. My mother never, ever got to see that. And so I started thinking about what she missed. She, to her children, went into the ministry. She missed all of that. Now, I didn't go into the ministry. So, I didn't do what they did. But, you know, I've achieved some things. So, thank you for sharing that. Thank yeah, it's, it's hard to explain because I, I don't know very many people that have lost a parent on their birthday. And it's, like, hard to explain what I was, like... You're mad at God, but you can't be because you were taught not to be. But then you read, oh, yeah, it's okay to be mad at God because he ain't going to be mad at you. Okay, cool. Let's just go. <laughs> Let me just tell you what I think. No, because you, the three of us, me, C, and Marla, we know this. When you grow up in church, no one say, don't question God, okay? But what you know, you don't know nothing. Why should I yeah, question was, the person yeah. that knows everything? You don't know You know what's funny? It's funny you say that. Um, because people will swear up and down, right? No, 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 no one ever said that. No, no, I know very well. Growing up, I was taught you do not question and you do not get angry at God. And I, was and I don't, right? And um, and guess what? He forgave but, me because he already knew I was gonna be mad. He already but, knew it's okay. That's what I said at my cousin's uh, memorial. It's okay that you mad at God. It's okay. He already see. He already knew you was gonna be that way. He already. It's okay. which is always. Yeah, we're not okay. I'm not gonna go into because I, I think the the beauty of this this conversation and what you just shared with us, I think, is helpful to not just me, but hopefully to someone else who comes across it. Um, but yeah, but it's funny those things that we were taught. That aren't even like actually in the Bible. They ain't even. Because you know, I'm always out the Bible and be like, "What question I ask y'all? Give me the, give me the chapter, scripture, the chapter in the book. I want all three. Because you gonna tell me this one. Well, you can't. And there's so many things that we are taught that are impressions. Oh, 
the of the rooms. Bible. And but they're not in there. Yes, you did. Yeah. But it so, was that dissonance that started even when I was deep, deep in the church. It was that, that dissonance because I'm so attached. This is why you had to, to read for to, yourself because people will say, I'm like, now y'all know good well that ain't nowhere in the yeah. Bible. Ain't in there nowhere. Y'all just yeah. making stuff up. Well, and, and the funny thing about it is it may actually um, be in the Bible. No, but, I'm trying guarantee you can't question God is not in the Bible. Matter no, I mean, I got that, but you you know, we have said this before. And Tracy, we, we agreed on this. They'll say a Bible verse from the Bible. It's flat out in the Bible. But they never read what was before that verse. Or after it. Or the whole chapter. Or I'm after read the whole that chapter. verse. That read the whole everything chapter. that statement. All say. out of context. Wait, wait a Just, minute. <laughs> Oh, but that's that's what people do. That's what and people do. Um, uh, I have a whole a whole conversation I would love to have on this, but I will relent. You will um, refrain. So anyway. everybody, yeah, just like I said, it's I've never ran into another person that has lost a parent on their actual birthday. It, I, I I still have yet to meet that person. I know I'm not the only one, but. Yeah, that's, that's the worst that lottery to win right there, boy. That's it's a club that I don't want anybody else to join because it's it's things. But yeah, usually I always cry. On it. I'd wake up and I cry. I'm just like, okay, go wash your face. Well, and with sure. that, I had a scavenger hunt. But did anybody RSVP? Nope. Yeah, Thank Marlon. You. Thank you. As you look this wonder, did you remember to sign up for it? Yeah. 